what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this awesome big modern house. Here it is from all of the angles that you might be interested from. Looks fantastic no matter what way you look at it. It's really, really easy to make. It looks great. You can even swap out all of the glass and the wood that I've used for any variety of clay or wood that you might want to use and you can even mix and match new materials in there. It will look fantastic no matter what you do to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please remember to like the video. It really helps me out and it lets me know that you love builds like this. And legend has it that if you do like the video, a magical palm tree will grow at the foot of your bed, which will give you golden coconuts throughout the night. Think about that. Do you want golden coconuts? I know you do, because I do. Anyway, if you do enjoy this video, please do remember to like. And I guess that's just about everything. Why don't I actually show you how to make this golden coconut? So, if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some AC of planks, some blue stained glass, some blue stained glass pane, lime hardened clay, green hardened clay, some jungle wood, and some water, something to power redstone, and grab yourself some redstone lamps, weighted pressure plates, and that is pretty much everything that you will need. Now, once you have each one of these materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, and just to let you know that including the garden, very important, this house will fit into a 31 block, that's 31 blocks coming across the front by a 24 block that's 24 blocks going towards the back area in your world now if you do make this rectangular shape on the floor in your world just to help you better plan it out you're going to want to start off in the front bottom left hand corner of said rectangular shape and what you want to do is you want to from this block you want to count in and find the 12th block in so this will be the first second third fourth 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. From this 12th block, you want to count in by 7, that's towards the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is where we will begin our build, which is going to be pretty much the primary entrance. You want to start off with a row of 8 block of quartz coming up from the ground. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... From this 8th block, you want to do a couple of things. So, first of all, you want to take that 8th block and you want to extend it backwards by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's important for later. Plus, you can connect that 12th block down to the ground if you so wish. However, coming back to that 8th block, we haven't forgotten about him. We want to place a quartz stairs on top of that. So, we want to place a quartz stairs on top of that facing this direction. Kind of like this to create a rounded edge. To the right of that place, an upside down quartz stairs block. And on top of that place, another sideways facing quartz stair. Then to the right of that place, an upside down quartz stair block, creating a rounded edge. Uh, we then want to place a quartz slab going to the right of that. And on top of that, to the left, to the right, to create a T shape like this. Underneath the right hand side of the T, we want to have an upside down quartz stair in this position. And to the right of it, we want to have a regular sideways quartz stair. And underneath it, we want to have another upside-down quartz stair, like this. And to the right of it, a sideways stair. And connect that down to the ground using block of quartz, like that. So you want to have something which should look very much like that. Wonderful. Now, once you've done that on the front, we actually want to do a very, very, very similar thing on the back. So we want to come all the way to the back, and we want to take this block that we extended backwards by 12, and we want to do th the same thing, literally. So we want, on top of this 12th block, we want to place a sideways quartz stairs, then an upside-down stairs to the left of it, then a sideways stairs on top of that, and an upside-down stairs to the left of it, and a quartz slab to the left of that. Then one on top, to the right, to the left. Place an upside-down quartz stair underneath that, facing inwards, like so. To the left of that place, a sideways stair. Underneath that place, an upside down stair. To the left of that, a sideways stair. And extend that down to the ground using block of quartz. Like this. You can even connect the top quartz block to the front of the build, very much how you did with the other quartz on the opposite side. Now, once you've got that sorted out, we're going to tackle the front entrance a little bit. In that, we are going to take out our quartz slabs and we want to take the very first quartz block that we placed. You guys remember, it's not been that long. You want to take this block and you want to place a quartz slab in front of it. Then you want to place a glass block to the right. Then a, a quartz slab in front of that. Then a glass block to the right. 
then a quartz slab in front of that. Leave a gap of one to the right and place a quartz slab with a glass behind it and then a glass to the right. A glass behind that and a quartz slab to the right to give you this. What you then want to do is add three additional glass on top of each glass. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like this. We then want to place a layer of quartz slab going around the top of this. Kind of like just creating a trim going around the top. Like that. It's very intuitive. I'm sure that you guys will manage to do that. We then want to seal up the front of this. Just so that we have enough room to walk into it. Like that. Place a layer of quartz slab directly above the entrance. You want to have one, two, three slabs in line with the trim that we have at the top. We can still walk in and out. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take out our old pal, the Asia Planks. And this is kind of tricky, but we want to create a trim inside of the archway that we have at the front. So what we basically want to do is one row behind the quartz block entrance, we want to create a trim. If that makes sense, we kind of want to go all the way around the inside of this like this. And we want to create this sort of look. So we want to have something which should look like that this is around the entrance so you want to have that it's 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 a little bit of a trim if that makes sense we're kind of just adding a nice little bit of ace here inside of the entrance and if you like you can actually destroy the bottom layer of ace here like the the part that touches the floor you can destroy it uh, as far as like where the glass begins so if that makes sense you kind of want to just have it like floating in the air like that because it actually isn't supposed to connect to the ground and if you come to the back of the house we can do a very similar deal except this trim of acia planks will in fact touch the ground uh, as it doesn't on the front it wants to basically it wants to be the same thing that we've just done except we want to leave the bottom half of it alone but from the back it'll have something which should look like this and you can actually completely fill this in either using blue stained glass block or blue stained glass pane it really is up to you what your preference is i'm kind of liking block uh, on the front of the build, where we have, uh, this is essentially a balcony here. Um, on the front of the build, we're going to create enough space inside of the Acia trim just so that we can walk in and out. So, we'll walk in and out like this. And we're also going to place a layer of blue stained glass block on the outer quartz slab trim here that will prevent anybody from falling off of the actual build looking good if i do say so myself now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take out our old pal the acia planks on the left hand side of the build we want to take remember the row of eight that we placed right at the beginning and then we placed a row of 12. You remember the row of 12? Well, what you want to do is you want to take not the first block, but the second block in the row of 12, and you want to extend it outwards to the left using your AC wood planks by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then extend it backwards, and I'm not going to give you the measurement because I don't know it. Extend it backwards and connect it to the equivalent position on the back. So you will connect it to this position on the back, the exact same position that you connected it to on the front it's the third block in what we then want to do is place two layers of blue stained glass block underneath this so this will be one layer and then we'll do two layers and this is going to go all the way around the underneath part of the acia plank so just going all the way around underneath you guys know the drill we want to have this so just like that boom like that. There we go. Then we want to place an additional layer of Acia. So going all the way around, we want to place an additional layer directly underneath like this. What we'll then do is we'll take out our quartz slab and we'll add a trim of quartz slab to the very bottom of our creation. 
going all the way around the base and we will add an equivalent one all the way up at the top so we'll add one to the bottom and to the top and that will put a nice finish on this particular part of the house so that is what you want to have you want to have something which should look like that and later on we will better fit that into the actual house itself you can also if you like you can kind of like put kind of like connect the acia together at the top like this and kind of like a square and then you can fill the top of this in with blue stained glass block if you want to i mean you you could equally fill it in with uh the wood or you could use quartz or you could just leave it open if you wanted to if you want a big giant sunroof uh we can also connect the top of the build together really um you can like add a little bit of glass in the top of the build so the middle top of the build if you like you could just add a few rows of glass in in uh, these positions maybe like or maybe maybe like here maybe have like a row of three at the top and then have it gently connect down like this um, if you want to have a bit of glass up in the top of your build, uh, you could even run a row of quartz slab if you wanted to add a bit of detail. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So you could have a row of quartz slab here on like the uh, right hand side of the build, connecting the sides together and on the left as well further, giving a bit more depth. Uh, you could even have one uh, running up the very top of the build if you wanted to make this look a bit more space agey like that but that's completely up to you and uh, it doesn't affect things that much as you look at it from the side uh, the next thing that we're going to do is on the very right hand side of the build and we're going to come to the back of the build to do this on the very right hand side of the build at the back so we're in this position right here we want to take um, we want to take out our Acia planks again and we want to take this very bottom corner quartz block and coming outwards diagonally from it, in this position right here, you're just going to have to look at where I'm doing it. You want to place a row of 10 Acia planks going left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. Coming all the way over to the left. Wonderful. So, we're now going to go up on top of this 10th block by 3. 1, 2, and 3. We're going to extend that block backwards and connect it back down to where we very first started. And we're going to take these two end corner blocks, so that this bottom one and this top one, and we are going to extend each one of these forwards by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Connect them together like this and connect them to the left we'll connect them to the big part of the house exactly like this and we'll take the uh, upper one and we'll do the same thing we'll connect it to the left hand the middle part of the house like this and then we will add a trim going around it so we'll add a quartz slab trim going around the very bottom of it and we'll add an equivalent quartz trim going around the top so this is the bottom this will connect directly to the back and this is the top also connects directly to the back however it does not connect to the front in uh in any similar way whatsoever so we do that perfect and let me just make sure that they uh connect the way that i think it does on the left it does um so the difference being with these corners, um, you want to connect connect the quartz slab corners together on the outer corner. So, like, you want to connect the top to the bottom quartz together. So, with your quartz blocks, you want to connect um, the corners together like this. And all that's really left to do is we want to add a layer of blue stained glass block going all the way around the top row of Acia planks like this. And then we, we have to seal the house up and add some final details. So we'll have something which should look like that for now. Oh, we also, of course, have to add the glass to the windows here, which once again can either be pain if you want a bit of uh, extra pain in your life wouldn't recommend uh or you can use glass block once again i'm i'm kind of enjoying the block rather than the pain the pain is better i think um looks wise but i, I don't know I, I like the i like the block why not now we have to seal some walls up that's the next bit so i'm going to be using pretty much exclusively block of quartz we're going to connect the front of the back of the house to the back of the house most of this is done we want to take the quartz frame 
uh, from the start and we want to connect it to from the front to the back that will solve most of our problems if we connect the quartz frame that we started with at the front all the way to the back that will actually solve most of our problems in terms of having holes in this house because at the moment we do actually have quite a lot of holes in the house and uh, that is absolutely no good that means that it's not watertight which means that it would absolutely uh, not float in the ocean which is really really bad as you guys know all i'm saying is you need walls basically it uh china has one it's it, it's doing quite well so far so we're just going to add some quartz blocks here and here we're basically like i said we're connecting the front frame to the back frame uh in regards to the actual like middle portion of the house we're just adding these in and then that will allow us to add some floors in That'll allow us to add the walkway that will take us from the uh, top of the house to the bottom of the house. And uh, it, it's nice and easy to do it this way rather than using like Acia or what have you. Although Acia might look better. Uh, I'm going to fill in the top of the balcony that is on the right hand side of the house. The module on the right hand side of the house shall be filled in with Acia wood plank as you can see me doing here. Uh, it might take a second or two. And a similar thing will be done once that has been done. It will be done to the left hand side if we come to the left hand side we'll fill in the underneath part of this also with Asia and then all that will be left to be done is like determining where some walkways are like crashing through walls and stuff which is kind of up to you guys but I'll give you a couple of ideas and some minor details to add to the house to kind of like finish it off but that is pretty much the skeleton of the house uh, we also have a floor to add in um, directly like lining up with the top row of glass and I would highly recommend using Acia slabs for this actually um, we want to add a balcony so um, basically like where the top row of glass is for the balcony like here yeah this is where the second floor is going to go so can you see it kind of it also lines up with the balcony on the right hand side so and um, this is the position in which the floor is meant to go um, the only floor in having the floor here, FL, AW, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, you guys get it. So the only flaw with this is that we do have to have a step up to the uh, overhanging part of the house, the left-hand side of the house. So for instance, like this wall here, we'll have to break it through a little bit, and we just have to add a little bit of a walk up, which is no problem. So if we knock into this wall and we just have some like AC or wood stairs, and we kind of like have it gradually taper, we could even make it look ever so slightly fancier in that we could have some glass uh, strewn around the place kind of like this that looks quite nice doesn't it uh, we also want to have access to the balcony we can do this in a similar way if we like although I would recommend putting it in the center of the wall so we could even knock out like the entire wall here for the balcony if we wanted to and we could have some like we could simply just have like glass here glass here and I'd maybe just keep it open like that. I mean, if you want to limit it a little bit. So maybe if you want to place like a layer of quartz slab just at the top, kind of like chunking in. I don't like that. Um, maybe just like a row of AC or something. I don't know. It kind of gives a little bit of a trim to the place. Um, the stairs or ladder system, rather, is I, I, I kind of meant for ladders to be used in this house rather than take up precious walk space. Um, right at the very back of the house, I would like it if there were just ladders coming all the way up from the back center part of the house um coming all the way up to the second floor like this uh, obviously need some uh slabs there um this is where the uh where the uh, ladders are supposed to go right at the back center of the house here takes you to the second floor then you have access to everything um we also have to knock through to uh this particular part of the house as well um if you want you could just have a smaller entrance way here leading into this part or you might want to double door double door it uh if you want uh symmetry um, which I'm a fan of, as uh, as most of you guys might know, despite the fact uh, that this house is not that symmetrical. But yeah, that's how you would access that particular part of the house. That's how you access all of the other different parts of the house. Um, that's how it's all supposed to piece together. 
However, there are a couple of things that we have left to do. So for these next bits, we'll need our quartz slab, we'll need the water buckets, um, we'll even need the uh, grass again. So we need like the green hardened clay, we'll need the lime hardened clay, we'll need our redstone lamps, we'll need the power source, we'll even need the weighted pressure plates. And as a matter of fact, the last two things that we need, uh, we'll need the jungle leaves and we'll need the oak wood. So, or not the oak wood, rather the jungle wood. So these are the only materials that we should hopefully need from here. Uh, the next most important thing with this house is that coming out of the left hand side of the overhanging house is a bit of a waterfall. So if you come underneath this part, and it, it might actually be easier from the inside. So if you come to the inside of the left hand overhanging side of the house, right, you want to locate the four middle block, or the, just the middle block actually, the very middle block. Um, of this side of the house. It's kind of easy to locate, but um, you, you're going to have to eyeball it, just kind of like I have. Get ready with your AC or wood planks. Um, like right in the center of the floor of this particular part of the part of the house, you want to just dig one space into, like here. And we're going to throw down a water bucket. We're also going to kind of like section this uh, this little bit off here. So I'm just going to kind of like place some blue stained glass block around this. And maybe even some like weighted pressure plate. Ah, uh, I can't place that. Maybe even some like uh, quartz slabs as well. Just to kind of like lure people away from this part. But uh, this creates a bit of a waterfall downstairs. Like that. I quite like it. It also doubles as a pool because now all we have to do is we just have to place like a box of quartz slab around it. So if you just use your quartz slab and you just create a very even looking uh, rectangular shape using your quartz block, then um, you'll have a very nice looking pool slash water feature coming from your house. So if you just place like a random rectangular square, just kind of encapsulating all of the water, it will look quite nice. Plus, as I said, it also doubles as a pool. If you want to do something fancy with the water, you might want to like do this. Maybe if you want to have more of like a big giant water flow, um, it's kind of up to you what you want to do with it. So I'll leave that part in your hands. You can shape it, you could turn it into a pool, or you could simply just leave it as the water feature. Uh, next thing we're going to add is we are going to add a palm tree, because I like them, in the front right hand portion of the garden. So we're going to grab jungle wood. And we're just going to make something that resembles a palm tree. We'll uh, place this diagonally coming from the front right hand corner of the bill. Probably like three or four diagonals in about this position. Couldn't even go uh, further if you like. Uh, we'll place like, let's say three jungle wood coming up from the ground. One, two, three. Then we'll go like right by one. And then up by, I don't know, like two. One, two. Or maybe even three. Nah, two. And then we'll go like right by one. And then up by two. One, two. Then we'll place like a green hardened clay. And on top of that, we'll place a lime hardened clay. Coming out from every single side of the green hardened clay, we want to have this pattern. We want to have like two lime clay coming outwards. One, two. Down one. Out one. Down one. That's a leaf. So out by two. One, two. Down one. Out one. Down one. Very easy pattern. Looks very much like a palm tree. Very easy to do. One, two. Down one. Out, out one. Down one. Then one, two, down one, out one, down one. Looks like a palm tree, pretty much. Very easy to make, great feature. Then all we have to do is it's just little things like we can add a couple of redstone lamps to where the entrance is going to be. Like we could add some lamps and of course we'll have to power those, silly me. So we could add some like lamps to the entrance. We can place weight of pressure plates on top of them so that we kind of have like a nice little trim. We can even add a layer of like quartz slabs going all the way around the house. Uh, if you would like your trim of quartz slabs to be greater than what it is. So if you would would like um, your garden to be like a bit bigger if you want the area that you make this in to be bigger simply extend the rectangular shape of quartz that I've placed I think I've actually kind of goofed here I think really I would like it to be like one block more um, with the quartz slabs I'd, I'd like there to be an extra an extra space going around the house but it's not too bad we could you could make it bigger or smaller dependent upon your preferences um, we're going to make a bit of a path going towards the house this is going to be made 
out of um, quartz. And the center of it is going to be made out of Asia planks. Um, Asia planks is also the material that I shall be using for the ground floor of the house as well. And the last little uh, finishing touch that you might want to add is artificial grass. Goes so well with modern builds. Rows and rows and rows of this in this alternating pattern of um, lime hardened clay, green hardened clay. Uh, lime hardened clay, green hardened clay, going backwards and backwards and backwards like this. Um, all look really, really nice. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to dig out the ground. I'm going to place artificial grass in there. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to dig out the interior of the house. I'm going to place AC in there. I'm going to dig out the pool. I'm going to turn that into something that looks a bit more like a pool. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once all of that's been done. And then you can see the house in all of its glory, just like you did at the start of the video. And then we'll be finished with the tutorial. Back in a moment. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the entire house made. We have added all of the nice artificial grass. We've made the pool nice. I've even reformed the water a little bit. I've added a floor to the interior. And the whole house is now looking a lot more respectable hopefully ba -ba 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 -ba. hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if this tutorial has helped you if it's inspired you or if you've made the house block for block please do like the video i'd really really appreciate it if you enjoyed it in any way shape or form or used it in any way shape or form i'd really really appreciate a like uh, if you do like the video not only might you get golden coconuts golden coconuts then you might also want to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the content, why not? Why not give it a go? Why not subscribe to the channel? We make all sorts of stuff around here. We don't only, only make modern houses. We do all sorts of things. Uh, please click the little bell if you do subscribe to the channel. If you click the little bell, please do also comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I do take request whether you guys want to see more survival builds, cartoon builds, city builds, whatever. Let me know down there in the comments. And if you do want to check out all of my channel, if for some reason you've done all of those things, um, you can check it out in the card system and the description below. Here's just a few random examples of stuff that I've been up to recently. I have more modern builds as you might be able to see. I have a couple of suburban builds. This one hasn't been furnished and stuff but um, that's also a nice suburban house that you can see in the background. We, we have plenty uh, more modern builds. This is a nice big modern house that you can see here. We even have some more survival related builds. We have Cartoon Corner over here. You can see that we have six awesome brand new new cartoon houses all out of various cartoons that you guys might enjoy basically guys check out the entire channel through the cards and the uh and through the description below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video golden coconuts